Welcome back to Blue Edge Global. If this is your first time, thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe with the bell button below. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for being loyal. And don't forget to also share this video and encourage others to subscribe. AFCC exposes religious sector laundering money for terrorists. Chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, Ola Olukoyede, has revealed that the agency has uncovered a religious sector in Nigeria, allegedly laundering money for terrorists. This was even as he revealed that another religious body was found to be protecting a money launderer after some funds suspected to have been laundered was traced to the organization's bank accounts. The EFCC boss made the revelation on Wednesday at the Musa Ya Adua Center, Abuja, during a one-day dialogue on youth, religion, and fight against corruption. He noted that religious organizations, institutions, sectors, and bodies have been found culpable of money laundering. Olukoyede said, a religious sector in this country has been found to be laundering money for terrorists. We were able to trace some London money to a religious organization. And when we approached the religious organization about it, we were carrying out our investigation. We got a restraining order stopping us from carrying out our investigation, he said. The event is still ongoing as of this report. First of all, I believe that if this religious organization has the fear of whoever they are serving, would not have any problem being investigated if truly they are not laundering money for terrorists. They would be open to be checked. They would be open to be um, accessible. Um, do you understand? And then even the religious body they spoke about that was, um, you know, hiding a money launderer. I, I, I want to believe that I don't, I don't even fully be, I don't even fully want to believe that it is a religious organization that, you know, is laundering money for terrorists. What if there are individuals that started up this organization and quoted it in the name of like religion, thereby protecting money for terrorists? Or what if these terrorists themselves were the ones that came up with this organization and, you know, made it a religious institute so that it will look like it's a religious organization? Because... Nobody would really want to um, judge a um, religious institution or a religious organization that, oh, they're into money laundry. That would probably be one of the last places to check that, oh, they are uh, Christians, they are Muslims, you know, and other religions that are there that, oh, they won't be involved in such an act. But now that it is being traced to a religious organization, questions need to be asked. Questions that are raised. Now, investigation is now ongoing because if EFCC has already um, traced and seen evidence that from the religious institution that there's money laundry, I believe that the institution should be shut down first of all. The, the account should be frozen. It should be frozen. There's no need for even, you know, going there to be asking questions because if there's already evidence that they are tracing money to the terrorists, they should be, there should be already like a, uh, a freeze freezing all the accounts already by this time because all this long talk all this back and forth the restraining order is even giving them time it's giving them time to probably even move the money to another place and you know you just said that the religious organization quote unquote has been shut down because what is the the guarantee that it is not even the terrorists themselves you know that are owning this religious organization that are making it seem like oh because i'm I want you and EFCC to then talk about the why they didn't also mention the organization or the name of the institution because if it's already if you mention the name of the institution the whistle has been blown everybody is already aware everybody will be on the lookout for you know this type of thing and people are blaming it on this religion oh is that religion I don't want any religion to be slandered here because we actually don't know we don't know we can't say. Because I believe that if it's, if no matter, who, well, some people are saying that um, maybe the religious organization is greater than, <laughs> is bigger than Nigeria. So they don't want to talk about it. Or maybe EFCC has been given a particular amount, you know. These are, two, these are the comments that people are saying here. That they've given a particular amount to keep quiet, to not raise it, not raise the whistle so much that a particular organization will be suspected.
you know, because people are saying that they should just arrest them. All these back and forth. You go there, confiscate their items, and arrest them until they come open with um um with the truth. They will be they, once they see that they're in that harsh condition in prison, they will be able to talk about okay, this is the truth. This is what is going on. Because people are saying that this is also the way they are laundering money to be able to possess ammunition that is causing insecurity in the nation. Because somebody was also saying that. We should not be, you know, <laughs> harsh towards each other as a religion. I understand that aspect. But now, it is not like a war between Christians and Muslims. Oh, Christians will never do this. Muslims will never do this. I don't believe that the, the, the table should be turned yet. And people are also saying that there's already, you know, people are already instilling fear into Nigerians. Because we are not, we don't even know which is which again. Because you came out to say it's a religious institution. It would have been very okay if the institution you know uh, um that is involved in this was mentioned they were mentioned they were arrested because so that you will know that these are the institutions religious institutions that you know have evil intentions and these institutions might not even be recognized they might not even be known they might just have been registered as religious institutions and at the end of the day covering up for ammunition and money laundry and all of that which is not fair because this is tarnishing the image of religious bodies out there it's tarnishing the image of religious body out there because people are also saying that what if the ammunition they are you know purchasing with the money laundered they're using it to kill innocent people all in the name of oh it is uh, a religious institution because people are already complaining in the comments that they should expose the religious body they should expose them already that is is it, now we are creating noise around the religious institution this is already creating time for them what if this is a means to store time for them to be able to transfer the money to another place to be able to move the money to another you know another account and all of that this is my own view though it's my own view because immediately you've seen that um that you know that movement about money laundry immediately the decision is supposed to be confiscated the building, the accounts, you know, because people are saying that um, who, 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 who could be able to give EFCC a restraining order, a restraining order, because there's already a financial crime. EFCC has already said that they have already seen um the transaction made, they have already seen evidence. So what is the restraining order for? Who are they restraining EFCC for doing their job? Who? Why? Why are they restraining them? Who? Who? Who was the person that you know? Gave that restraining order for something that is already there is already evidence. Ha, ha, ba. We need to actually expose these people, because by the time we, um, EFCC is you know going back and forth, they would have already settled some people here and there, and then at the end of the day, you won't hear anything about this, and this will keep going. Before you know it, one, two, three, four religious organizations have already started money laundry. They've already started the money laundry. And then before you know it, we have quite a number of uh, religious institutions now. And you don't even know which is a religious institution or not. Just masking up all in the name of religion. And this is actually a very easy way to launder money and use the money for ammunition. Because religious institutions, is there, you know, you can just cover up, oh, it is a this, it is a this. You, we are just here, you know, being religious and all of that. Comment down below what you think about this news. Don't forget to like, share, and